Howdy, howdy. All right, I just wanted to jump on and I wanted to play this for a little while, so thank you all for, oh, let me get my camera to white balance. Get something white. That's better. <laughs> all right. I was thinking we might do one of the other ones. Let's do alternative energy. See what we got here. So a bicycle is alternative energy. Oh. Alright. Body. Gears. Wheel and tire. Brakes. Are the same. Okay. Wheel. You need two wheels and tires. The larger... The <clears throat> the larger the wheels and tires are, the faster your vehicle can go. The largest wheels are 26 inches, so we want 26 inch wheels. Um, best gears are 15 speed gears. Um, an egg shaped body creates the least amount of drag. So, we want an egg shaped body. And I think that's it. Those are the, the big things. All right, I wonder what the, uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, looks like they keep some of the, so it looks like the complexity of the game is done by your level, so that's actually good, so it's not like it resets with each option you get, so normal gravity, Four. All right, what was that one? Body with a long slope. So I think we want something that actually says egg shape in it or something like that. I was going to say, I think he's caught in an infinite loop there. All right. A wrench. Okay, how'd he beat me in here? Oh, that's right, they drop stuff. Flames decal, perfect. Rectangular body, that's going to be a hard nope. I wonder if that board takes me to the second level. Yep, okay. I don't feel like the chimps sleep as long anymore either. That's going to be too far away, so... Oh, okay, so it's a different one. Five, so 15 was what we were looking for for the gears. What did we pick up? Paint and green paint. Oh, that's expensive. Can I get the... I just wish, like, the... What? What? No. I'm supposed to get a present from you. I'm disappointed I got chipped by a chimp. 
cyber chimp. Oh. <laughs> like, what is this? I was really expecting a red apple, so that, th for whatever reason, that caught me off guard. This game, I've never played it. <laughs> yeah, so this game, um, I played it in... 20 inch tires so I want 26 inch tires this is called gizmos and gadgets um, it's a part of the super solver series of educational games um, some I actually never had this game myself I always had to go to a friend's house to play it and um, so I only played it a few times um, growing up but it, it was one of those games that you know I it's like all I remember is the guy's got a red hat and a blue jacket and how do I find this game? And, you know, of course, the internet has made that increasingly easier and I eventually came across it and just, I really love the game, so. Um, the puzzles and everything actually do get harder um, over time uh, as you level up, so some of the puzzles get increasingly complicated. I'm just taking guesses here. I'm not trying to work it out in my head, but... Gee, I really appreciated like the different um, door puzzles and things like that growing up. The gear part of it, like left a specific impression on me. And a science scene, so. Um, but I don't know if the, like where this falls in line of all the Super Solver games. Um, I think most of the other ones might actually be, like this is later in the series. So I really enjoyed, um, like this one, for as old as it looks, looks better, I feel, than some of the other games. Um, and each one has like a different premise. I think one of them, you take pictures of the robot and it's like a more of a whodunit game. Um, let's see. Oh, there's two. That's, let's pay attention to the count. But yeah, this is available on Abandonware. <gasps> Wind speed gear. <laughs> no decals. I'll need any new decals. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll, I'm probably gonna do the other Super Solver games. Uh, And uh, as things go along, let's see, 15, one speed, no thanks, 10 speed. I think 15 is the highest speed gear that you can get if I remember right. All right. Started to have a beat going there. <laughs> yeah, and Tony, I don't know if you've. Uh, obli sorry, Oblivion. <laughs> if you remember from the previous stuff, I've kind of improved the stream windows a little bit. I'm very. Um, happy with the way that that worked out. Things actually have frames and borders now. <laughs> so the red boxes down there, those have to do with um, 
parts that I put in the recycle bin. Let's see, that's a with a long slope, short slope. Egg shaped body. Okay, that's supposed to be the best. I think we've got everything but the best wheels. So just for the sake of making it through, I might give uh, give this a shot. So basically, <laughs> thanks. So with this, um, basically you're going through, you're collecting the parts for a vehicle. And this is like the level one vehicle. Level two, I think it goes up to six levels. In each level, you have to find more parts. Um, the complexity of what you have to find and put together increases. Um, and some of these parts, like the wheels, you can see, hey, the best tires are 26 inches in diameter. Whereas there are other parts that are like, they're brakes. You, you, there's no better brakes. Um, the body of the car is an egg-shaped. Um, it's the best. So you don't have to get all of the perfect parts in order, or the best parts in order to win. Um, the, and you can kind of see more of the premise of the game, but basically somebody takes over a science park and you have to like beat their challenges to become the head scient scientist. So, um, so basically the idea is to um, demonstrate that you get the idea that um, the better parts, like the better gear ratios or the better tires, are going to make a better vehicle. So let's see if I can do it with the... I've got all the best parts except for the tires. The tires are 24 inch instead of 26 inch, but I think it'll be enough. Oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> Woohoo! You've won the race, and re you've reached the rank of technician. You need a score of 60,000 to move up to the next rank. Keep up the good work! So yeah, basically you have to beat this guy at all of these challenges. Um, so let me go back to the tech center here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So there's gonna be five levels of each one. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the... So this would be, I'll go ahead and jump into this one. I think I can back out of it. So you can see like the increased complexity. Now we've got to find Tires, the best tires are 12 inches in diameter. The wheels, uh, ball bearings have the least amount of friction. Brakes, brakes are still brakes. The fiberglass body, um, with uh, fiberglass smooth body is the best. Uh, differential with a two to one ratio. There are three types of windshields available. So there's now multiple windshields that you have to collect. Um, fuel tank is a fuel tank still. And an engine, um, 80 horsepower is the best. And you can find the varying degrees from, you know, what, 20 horsepower to 80 horsepower. Um, so you kind of also make a sacrifice on, well, do I want to finish this quickly? Or do I really want to, you know, hunt down every last perfect part um, and totally crush it? So... Yeah, you got some choices and some fun and you know you get to decide do you want to be the completionist or do you want to just do good enough yep no problem <laughs> actually i'm gonna get oh. no i don't want to leave the program i want to go to the technology center will be saved you yes <laughs> <laughs> see the thing is they call this a blimp and this is not a blimp a blimp is a balloon this is a dirigible 
kids? Can we say dirigible? <laughs> I literally, literally had this conversation with my coworker today about the differences between the dirigible and the blimp, and that it really should be called the Goodyear dirigible. Even though I know that's not going to sell any tires, it's still the Goodyear dirigible. <laughs> And nobody can convince me otherwise. <laughs> well, maybe a dictionary could. <laughs> Fat envelope. <laughs> Is that funny to me? <laughs> Narrow envelope. I still want to interact with that coat rack. I mean, really, they just make that way too prominent. I mean, it fleshes things out, but it's like... They should let you change your coat color or something every time you try to interact with it. Rectangular hung on wires. I need to look back at that, but I get the feeling that you want the narrow envelope, you want like an aerodynamic gondola, and a good um, propeller. Alright, shoot the watermelon into the flashing hole. The watermelon takes a lot more force than the... Um, basketball for the basketball it's like you can count the number and then pull the energy to the correct so for instance but to do the same thing with the watermelon yeah <laughs> takes a lot more force ah oh i kind of got him engine in front of the gondola. Okay, good. He only stole, like, one of the bad parts. Whew. Man, they're really increasing the number of uh, magnets I need to work with. Oh, what am I doing? Medium thickness envelope. Decal. Bananas. All right. Oh, I should have known that. It's got to go. Let's see. 10. Force multiplier. Too much. I should have taken them both off at the same time. Welcome back.
I don't know if you missed my uh, dirigible speech. Did you end up um, catching that? I think that's because he nail clippers. Yes! Of course, is it said that I knew that? Oh, you're good. So the game, um... Ah. So in this section of the game, they called, uh, um... It's an aircraft that you have to build. Well, they're calling it a, um, a blimp. But it, you know, it's got a prop on it and um, a housing for people. And so, therefore, it is not actually a blimp. It is a dirigible. Um, and I have my own, as a matter of fact, it was uh, today I was talking with my coworker. I was like, the Goodyear blimp is not a blimp. It is a dirigible. And it's like, and I realized that Goodyear will not nearly sell as many tires by calling it the Goodyear Dirigible instead of the Goodyear Blimp. But it is still an inaccurate term to call it the Goodyear Blimp. <laughs> it's like... But when, I, when they uh, showed it, I was like... It is not, and, but in this game, they're calling it a blimp, and I'm like, it is not a blimp. Okay, kids, let's say dirigible. Say it with me, dirigible. And I'm probably not saying it right, but it might be a, like a locality thing. Let's see, rectangular inside the blimp's envelope. Probably get through that one. Right, it's attached to the envelope. All right. Hmm, excuse me. All right. Shoot the watermelon into the flashing hole. Never heard that one. Yeah, it's um. I first heard of a dirigible from, I want to say it was like a Buck Rogers movie or something like that. Um, old black and white film. And they were just, you know, they were referring to the blimp as a, um, as a dirigible or the, to the dirigible as dirigible. And I'm like, what is that? And it's like, so I finally looked it up and it was like, okay, so that's the difference. One is powered and one is literally just a oversized balloon. I really wish I could. Just something about the prominence of those items. I just really want to interact with them. <laughs> it's, it's breaking my immersion. <laughs> Give me my force multiplier. Okay, uh, what kind of engine behind the gondola? Yeah, that's true. That's actually one of the big th places where I um, built my vocabulary was from video games that really did a good job with using and exposing people to complicated words. And I don't mean educational games. Um, I used to play... Um, I used to play an online game called, uh, it was called at the time, Moongate. Um, but it's called uh, Materia Magica now. And so it, it was like this really awesome, t yeah, a text space. It was a MUD, a uh, multi-user dungeon. And, oh gosh, that was so much fun. I, I'm probably going to do like an old school game on it, even though it's still like around and exists, but uh, I thought it'd be really cool to show it off. Yeah, I'm not going to try collecting more of those. What else we got? Paint. 
an engine, okay. I don't think the front of the gondola would be good. Oh, well, that's exactly what I got back. More paint. All right. I'm going to ignore the paint, and I'm just going to go for getting out of here and racing our dirigibles. <laughs> All right, where am I? Dude, these chips are, the cyber chimps are totally just jamming. Let's see, narrow envelope. See, right here, look, they're lying to the children. It says blimp. It is not a blimp. Let's see, an engine that's behind the gondola will help make it fastest, okay. Um... The gondola inside the envelope will not add any drag, so I think I've got the best parts. I think that's the one inside, yep. Oh, wrong way. And to the back. Oh, that's it. No, no, I... Dragon. Let's see, yellow or green? Green dragon. Here we go. All right. Let us race our dirigibles. Oh, that totally feels like the DuckTales game right there with the stuff going on underneath. Oh, good. You have a single landing gear on the bottom of that. I wonder if that's how accurate that is. Congratulations, you've won the race and reached the rank of engineer. <laughs> you need a score of 120 <laughs> to move up to the next rank. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I have half that. <laughs> I wonder if they just, like, give you that amount. Like, if you uh, end up passing. Let's see. Oh, I hit next level, so let's see what the complexity is on this. Sailplane. Airfoil. Airfoil is the shape of the wing. Less drag. Uh, faster your plane can go. Curved airfoils make less drag. And airfoils with both the top and the bottom curving down make even less drag. A laminar flow airfoil makes the least amount of drag, so... Obviously, then we want something that says laminar flow in it. Uh, controls. All sail plans need basic controls. Um, flaps help you use updrafts to climb the height you can reach. Uh, flapperons will help your sail. <laughs> so we want flapperons. The, the word just sounds funny to me. Let's see. Landing gear helps your sailplane take off and land safely. Um, landing gear with a single retractable wheel makes the least amount of drag. Okay, so we want single gear retracting instruments. The best instrument is a verometer. The instruments can show pilot when the plane is in an updraft. A plane can fly faster when it is in an updraft. An altimeter tells you how high the plane is, but doesn't help the pilot as much as a rate of climb indicator. So, verometer is what we're looking for. Landing gear. Okay, that's just the same thing. Fuselage. Uh, this is where the pilot sits. The less resistance or drag, the faster your sailplane can go. Fuselage that is small and has an enclosed cockpit will make the least amount of drag. All right. And then optional components. So what was that thing? Laminar flow. Laminar flow, where do I know that from? That's that's where like the water looks still when it's coming out of um when it's pouring. I think that's right. Alright. Done here. Let's collect some parts.
shoot the beach ball into the flashing hole. So the beach ball, unlike the watermelon, is more like an energy multiplier. So it's a matter of... So one goes four. Oh, three. So it's one, two, three, four. I think it has to do with the drag that it's on the slope that it produces. Oh, I didn't know that. Laminar is... Okay. See, I'm learning words, too. Do, do, do. That's really cool to know. I didn't, I didn't know that they were actually, like, in opposition. I thought it just had to... Well, I guess that makes sense, because I was thinking laminar, laminar is, like, it means smooth, but more specifically, it's, it's... That's really cool. Thank you. By the way, can you hear the music from the game and stuff like that okay? I wouldn't want you to miss, you know, these sweet tunes. Actually, I kind of jam out to them, so... <laughs> Ooh, I have four pencils now. Light energy. Nope. I don't see anything that's light energy. Chemical energy. Actually, it's going to be that one. I mean, I guess that would technically be chemical energy if your body is... But is it is it overpowering my voice, or is it like kind of well balanced? If you want it louder, I'll go ahead and turn that up. shoot the boot into the flashing hole. I don't even know what the boot's going to do. I'm just going to crank it all the way up. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm still trying to figure out like all the volumes and stuff like that. Uh, yesterday I had it way too quiet. Medium fuselage with enclosed cockpit. What do we got? Rate of climb. So we got the same thing, right? Oh, that's cool. You can't actually just walk by it. Okay. But if you jump on it. There we go. Rainbow decal. What do we got here? Oh, I didn't specifically look at the wing. Okay. I gotta go back and... Oh. oh, you can jump over him, too. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. Actually, one thing I should do is go check out that door down here. Alright, we're getting... Or shoe magnets, too. See, it's like I really just want to interact with it. <laughs> okay. winglets. I'm assuming I want winglets, but...
Okay, there's... Okay, there's two areas. I'm tracking now. What did I get? Basic controls plus spoilers and flaps. Now I want this game to be spoiler free. Yeah, I I I went there. I did that. What are you gonna do about it? I think this could still be, like, a good kids game today. Oh, this is neat. We finally get an additional component, because up to now it's just been battery and... battery and light. I like it. Get back here. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to get the rights for it first. Ooh, a block and tackle. Is that what I'm... Yeah, the original publisher is missing out on... If they just did, like, some small quality of life improvements or something. Man, I keep messing that up. I will get this. There we go. Do I have to use all the components? I just want to interact with the vacuum. that too much to ask? Yeah, the version of this game, or the the one in the series that I remember most, is Super Solvers, or of the Super Solvers series, was the one where you had a camera, and it was like you were trying to solve a mystery. Um... And the doors had puzzles, but they weren't like this. They weren't like the mechanical fun puzzles that this was. So that is the sound that screws make. I never knew that. Oh man, dead end. And it looks like all three of those are kind of dead end doors anyway. So, actually, make sure one of them doesn't have, like, a way to go down. Yep, all dead ends. But below me... It looks like this door might be worthwhile.
three, six, seven. Oh wait, three, six, seven, eight, so I have up to eight. I have to wait for it to reset itself. I can't just... Ah, uh, there's our barometer. Perfect. So we've got one of the pieces that we know is the best piece. Okay. Oh man, I haven't touched like the other half of this at all. I guess that makes sense because I hadn't found like anything good. Yeah, seriously, an arm because it's a uh, lever. Oh, yeah, I have to turn it on. <laughs> Oh yeah, what did I just pick up? Oh, probably decal. Airfoil, okay. So I got one of the good airfoils. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I've probably bananas. Bananas. Banana. Banana. Shoot the beach ball into the flashing hole. I was going to say, yeah. Skizzers. Alright, I know I already got the best one of those, so I don't need to worry about trying to pick that up. Shoot the boot into the flashing coal. Oh, okay, that was just totally a guess. Later you actually get to change the gravity as part of the puzzle too. It makes for some interesting uh, puzzle solutions. All right. Of course, I forget to pay attention again to what I received. Oh, more paint. So let's get some of these boxes down here. Bananas. I'm gonna go out on a guess and say winglets are good. So let's see what we got here. 40 foot wings. So. Small fuselage with an enclosed cockpit. Perfect. I think that's what we do want. Laminar. Yay! So we got the best airfoil. I think we might have enough to call it. 
Let's see. Basic controls plus spoilers, spoilers, and flaps. Oh man, this, I hit the jackpot on this one. Um, plus spoilers. A whole lot of spoilers and flaps. Basic controls. <laughs> we already got the best one of those, so we're good there. Alright, let's see if we can build an airplane. Ooh, a key change in the song. Oh man, all the chimps are having a party right there. That's what happened. All right. Oh, it's one piece. <laughs> I want to grab the other piece. <laughs> okay, you over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see that part goes on top. That makes sense. See, that's an arm, too. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> ah. Oh, man, he's still stealing to... Oh man, he dropped a decal. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I'm. I, this is one I'm gonna eventually play through. I think he stole my uh, landing gear, though. don't need landing gear, right? Oh man, now I gotta find landing gear again. And I'm not going in that room because there were like 50 apes. Okay, well there were three, but still. <laughs> More than I was willing to pick a fight with. Alright Oblivion, you have a good one. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, thanks for jumping on. Only if you want to live. That's a, that's an excellent point. <laughs> oh, well, I don't need all the gears. What am I thinking? Yeah, of course. I, <laughs> I wasn't quite getting the impression you were uh, threatening me. I just want to see that beach ball go flying. <laughs> Alright, let's get these parts. Don't need paint. Although, actually, I do want... Yeah, I want to get rid of yellow paint. Red paint, perfect. Ooh. Bananas. Had 
to try. All right. I always wanted to connect these. To oh, you can. Oh, that's awesome. That makes me happy. That you can just connect them like that. Do I get bonus points for having leftover parts? Oops. Alright, I just need land gear. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Oh man, this is so tempting. Oh man, they're stealing all my good stuff. Uh. Okay, I don't care about decals. But I think I have to throw one away to get. <laughs> Alright, I think I've got some landing gear. I'm getting out. <laughs> Pay attention that I had four of each. Oh, I like that decal. Oh, I can't put it on. Can I take the? Nah, I'm not gonna mess with it. gonna paint it red. Uh, it doesn't look as red as good as the... Ah, uh, let's go with green. Single wheel that can be retractable. Perfect. Alright. Let's do this. in the race and have reached the rank of engineer. Okay, so you don't... So I didn't receive enough points to actually progress, but still. Alright. Well, that was fun. I'm enjoying this probably more than I should, but um, I like it. Anyway, uh, looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more races that we can do on this, and we should have, we should finish it up. Well, thanks for joining me for another old school game, and um, I will see you next time. Um, if not before, um, then Wednesday at 8 p.m. Thanks for joining.